Hello! Welcome to uh, the first part of a video series where I'm going to be introducing y'all on to how to use your new wave pool. Um, the wave pool is a video delay device that can also generate a fantastic variety of complex feedback reaction diffusion kind of things. So um, there's not really a lot out there like this and there's not like a huge context for understanding this kind of a thing. So I wanted to make sure that um, I do some offer some tips and tricks on how to like steer yourself around in these like chaotic realms. Um, so each these all each of these episodes are going to be pretty short, and they're just going to focus on like two or three controls at a time, just to get you used to like everything one at a time. Um, so let's start with Luma Key. So Luma Key has two modes. You can either dial in um, keying out the white and replacing that with whatever's in the, the frame buffer, or no, dial out the black. So this starts from the blackest and then keys out, going all the way up to bright. And when you dial this up all the way, then it's just static, it's just the frame buffer. And you can also hit a switch, and then it'll key out the whitest instead of the darkest. So, as you can see, the delay buffer is holding the last frame and just sort of painting everything that we draw that's unkeyed over it. Um, but now I'm going to start playing around with delay time. So let me turn it up, and now it's about one frame back. And the delay buffer is, it's in a feedback loop, so that means the, the buffer feeds into itself. So that's how you get this sort of looping behavior. And I'm just going to keep moving my hand and my head around, and slowly increasing the delay time. So you can see what happens to the delay what happens to the, the feedback as you change the time. You can see it's holding some of the, the, the changes that happen as you move the delay time and loops it into everything. So this can be thought of as like uh, if you've ever played with an audio delay pedal and used it sort of as a looper. Um, very similar to that. And so now we're at like a full two seconds of delay. Two seconds is about the max I can get for delay time on this right now, um, but it might increase in the future. I don't know. Maybe I'm good at programming. <laughs> you can see what happens as I change the key level. Every change I do in the key level is going to loop every two seconds because of how the delay f uh, buffer is fed into itself. So you can use the two seconds of delay as sort of a rhythmic way. If you're playing along with music, you can try to dial in the, the delay time so it matches up with the music and get this sort of like rhythmic uh, patterning happening. But yeah, so let me turn the delay time back down to zero and turn the key all the way off. And let me show you what happens with the mix. So mix is right next to the um, Luma key. And mix just blends everything. It's like wiping. If you've ever used video mixers before, it's just wiping between the input channel and the delay. Um, mix does a couple of different things. You can check out the manual for more detail. But if you dial it to the, to the negative, it'll, it'll um, mix the inverted It'll invert the feedback and mix it with its uh, with the input. So as you can see, as I slow down, if there's no delay time, it's just one frame back, then you get a lot of strobing. But then as I increase the amount of delay time and increase the, the negative mix, you get this inverted feedback thing happening where it's combining shadows with itself. You can see there's some interesting uh, reaction diffusion patterns happening up on the top left hand corner because there hasn't been any movement there to trap. It's just taking the sort of like the, the, the noisy way that this camera handles darkness and amplifying it with itself. Yeah, here's at a full two seconds mixing negative, and let me turn the mix slowly up to positive.
And once you hit a certain degree of positive mix, it enters a totally different mode. Let me turn the delay down to zero. And this is mix all the way up without anything else changed. So this is like a very digital feedback situation. If you've ever played with like a modern HD mixer where you can plug the output into the input or route the output into the input, you get this kind of like really like digital uh, harsh feedback thing happening. But yeah, so that's Mimikey Mix and Delay Time. Uh, join me in the next episode and I'll talk about cue, saturation, and brightness. Uh, thanks a lot, and have fun!